Count Alessandro Volta, he lived from 1745 to 1827. Here's a picture of the gentleman. Say, what's up, dude? Alright, he was an Italian physicist. He gained worldwide fame with important contributions to the studies of static and current electricity. He invented both a new technique for storing static electrical charge and the first device for generating electric current, today called an electric battery. I don't want to read this entire thing, so I'll just go over a few interesting points that uh, I uh, looked at. His invention of the electrophorus made Volta famous. In 1794, he made his best known discovery, a device for producing a steady current today known as the electric battery. For some years, Volta had followed with interest the experiments of the Italian anatomist Luigi Galvani. Galvani had found that if two different metals were brought into contact in the presence of animal muscle, an electric current was generated. Galvani mistakenly believed that the current was a kind of animal electricity contained in the tissue and released by the touch of the metals. Volta believed it could be possible to generate the current without the tissue and began a series of experiments to test the hypothesis. By 1800, Volta had succeeded, so six years after that. He discovered that if two dissimilar metals were brought into contact in a salt solution, a current would be produced. This led to the first working battery which used several bowls of a salt solution connected by a wire cord that dipped from one bowl to the next. One end of the cord was copper and the other zinc, and when they made contact, a current was produced. <clears throat> and actually, I, I made one of those before, and yes, it does work. It produces, uh, it produces a current. Uh, let's see here. Volta's columns of metal and cardboard discs later became known as voltaic piles and were in fact the, convert, the first convenient source of electric current. This led directly to the discovery of the phenomenon of electrolysis and enabled rapid progress to be made in the study of the laws governing electricity. And perhaps Volta's most enduring reward was to have the unit of electrical potential, the volt, named after him, which made his name a household word in succeeding generations. Succeeding generations. Here's a fresca of Volta demonstrating his voltaic pile and ultra uh, to Napoleon. Make sure you guys can see that. There's Napoleon right there. There's Volta right there. Him showing him how it works. Say, Emperor, this is how everything is going to work. And if you could just see uh, what we've accomplished today, I do believe Napoleon and Volta would both be crapping their pants. But there he is, one of the most important uh, scientific inventors slash discoverers. He lived uh, a pretty long time ago, over 150 years ago. 160 years ago. Good. Wow, he's a he's a long time ago. But very important gentleman. Uh, I do believe he was uh, part of the more wealthy of the classes, so he could afford to make things, you know, and design things, and he had enough free time to experiment versus just trying to find food and make a living. So, uh, yeah, there he is. Uh, Pretty important. Every time you say the word volt, that's where a name comes from. So I've gone over volt, I've gone over ohm. Who's next? Amp. Ampere. I have to look up that now. Alright, today is uh, June 19th, 2015. Everybody have a good day.